Okay, 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 okay. We did it, y'all. We're back in business. I came earlier, and then uh, it didn't work. It was weird. And now we're back. So I have to go get a little something, and I'll be right back, y'all. I am here. I'll be right back. <laughs> Got myself a pillow <laughs> because the stools on the bar are way, way too hard. And I'm going to be sitting there for a while. So I want to make sure that I'm comfortable. Philly Shaw, what's up? What's up? What's up? I guess what happened was, and let me keep you in the loop, y'all. What happened was I, um, you know, I set up the YouTube live and I leave it on like for 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes while I'm preparing my coffee, do what I do. And then I think, you know, YouTube is like, something happens, so it's weird. So I just have to like, go on, put it on when I'm ready. And that, that was it, that's the reason why. Hello everybody, hello. Hey, 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 we are here and I, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about, but I got a few things on my phone to look at, maybe. Okay, but what I want to do first with you today, we're going to do this reverse. I want you to, to start it up. Mm -hmm. I want you to get me going. I want you to communicate. I want you to give me. I want you to tell me how it's been for you to come here, you know. Sundays, vibing with me, just talking, and you know, I let you in my humble above. I spill my guts. <laughs> it's a circle of giving and receiving. That's what it's about. And um, I was thinking just about that right now. I want to know how you're doing, and uh, if you could tell me a little bit on how much, what kind of experience it's been, you know. You can share, you can write it in, I can read it. I don't know how we're going to do this, but, you know, just to get it started, you know? Okay, Sheena. Always amazing when I can get on there, when I can get on here. Always love of feeling empowered and positive. I like that word, empowered. And that's what I feel when I'm with you as well, guys. When I talk with you and vibe with you and, 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 and get into those, you know, those conversations, you trigger me and then it leads me to a place. From that place, we go to another. And before you know it, an hour has passed by. And I'm always amazed by the fact that the hour goes by so fast. That means we are having a good time. And that's what it's all about. This is why I come here and I want to have a good time. It's Sunday. I used to be on the road, a good time, and then go to the airport, wherever I was, come to you and be like, hey, you know, tell you a little bit about what happened that night. But it ain't like that anymore. So I get a lot out of you guys. And I really am thankful that I get this, this love, this energy, this feedback. And that's what it's about. But more importantly, it's about getting results. You know, getting results. That's what I am after. I am after results. I want to hear from your success stories, from the changes that have taken place that you made in your life, cause and effect. Maybe I was part of it. Maybe I got you ignited, I got you started, and I want to hear about those stories. That's what I want to hear. And um, when I come here and I log in and I prepare my stuff, and I look, and Glenn Milley was one of the first one on my first attempt, just like last week, 
And it was like, oh, wow. You know, I, you never know. I, I don't know what's going to happen. And I love this uncertainty factor because I read somewhere uncertainty is the fertile ground for creativity. And every everything that happens in those moments that I am in, because I am in the moment, I am in the here, I am in the now. I hope, you know, the conversation that we had last week has been something that you've taken consideration in consideration. And um, that maybe this week was a little different for you. You know, maybe, I don't know. That's what I'm hoping for because for me, it changed my life. My life as a result took a, a different turn when I started to implement some of those new changes in my life. Of course, when someone brings, some, brings up something to you saying, ah, you know, you should try that, that's pretty cool. And I know at first you're not convinced and you shouldn't because you should test it, but test it. Test it, please. It's about getting better. It's about becoming better versions of ourselves. It's about discovery. You know, maybe we can talk about that today. But first, I'm gonna go through through your messages and see if I can pick something that's going to, you know, ignite me, get me started, trigger me, take me places. So here we go. It was cool today. I had a friend from Paris, Greg. Vision 4K was in the house today. It's a collaborator that uh, I've worked with for some years. He's uh, in the film, in the film and video making. And he was here in Amsterdam just, um, you know, checking the city out for our next video that he's filming in November. So of course, if Greg is in the house, yo, he's gotta come to La Casa. I say hello, you know? And we vibed and it's always so cool to vibe with a creative person. It's just cause and effect. Greg is French. He speaks English as well, but we speak French because it is our native language. Sometimes I do speak French with native French people because they travel so much and they're more used to use English for what we're talking about for the subject matter. But we spoke French for about an hour, an hour and a half, and it was super cool to, to see him because you know we're supposed to you know meet each other. Every time I was in Paris, he was out. So how uh, amazing was that? I was home. I was in Amsterdam. He was in Amsterdam, not far away from where I'm at. So it was perfect. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen. So let's go. Let's go through what we got today. Maya Brooks. Hello, Sheena Gossip Print The Grain. How are you doing? Philly Shaw, of course. Mali Teles, how are you? Dreamcatcher, Susie, Manuela Mingo, Orla. And Zonica, Elzimar, and Zonica, Petra Avrami, Milenka Vela. I don't know what language you're speaking. I don't know, maybe it's Brazil, maybe you're from Brazil. You do bom. Obrigado for coming here. Glenn Milley, we made it, man. I came back real quick this time. What do we got? We got Misty Malin. How are you, Sheena? Okay. Hey. Okay, Angela Glass, Paji, hey, Pave Stony Zub, hello, hello, um, here we go, Felicia, I feel like meeting with my closest friend every Sunday. Well, it feels like, you know, a gathering where we just exchange, regroup, charge and, and go 
because I'm ready. You know, I um, I, I saw something because you know I'm always looking at at um, talks, and I try. I always try to feed myself with knowledge, with knowledge that's gonna enhance my life. And I saw something uh, about sleep. It was super interesting. Interesting. This guy said you should look at your your patterns, how you you know, wake up and your light, how light affects you and stuff like that. But he said something very interesting in that, in that talk. He said that his day starts when he goes to bed. And I love that. So I've tried it. I've tried this, this, okay, I'm going to bed, but it's not the end of the day. I'm starting my day. And I'm starting my day with going to sleep and getting this, this rest. But I'm starting my day with a beautiful, wonderful, deep, relaxed sleep. You see, sleep is everything. So just something that just popped in my head that I wanted to share with you, try that. And I'm sure that with Tessa Fenderstein from Your Health Coach, we will cover sleep in a much deeper way manner because she is the specialist you know i do learn a lot and i've learned a lot from everything that she taught me in the, in the health you know in the health in the health uh, in the health care of our of our you know in the health care that's a good word yeah health care when we think health when we think health when we use the word the, the word health care I think about it like, you know, insurance, but yeah, health care. Yeah, you got to take care. Health care. That's it. It's the number one. I'm telling y'all, it is the number one. There's no buts about it. There's no going around it. Handle it. Let's go and see what else we got. Maggie Tellers, uh, thank you for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, you're always appreciated. I'm going to read your message. I love you, Fab. I wish I meet you someday, sometimes. In two years, I will visit Amsterdam. I heard it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm well. You inspire me every day. Besitos. Thank you, Maggie Tellers. I appreciate your constant Continuous support. Much appreciated. Hey, listen, I'm here to inspire and to get inspired as inspired as well. Because you treat, like I said, you guys trigger me. You do. You know, and uh, those conversations that we have, and I wish we could be in the same room. Wouldn't it be cool to have like a, a be me being on a, on a panel? And you've been in the audience and have that live feeling. And maybe one day, my, Monday, maybe we'll organize that. That would be cool, huh? One day, what would that be? Imagine we have now got like 200 followers and then we do a contest. You know, we get, we get a brand to support us. They fly everybody in, put everybody in a hotel. And then one room, we do this right there. Some of you will talk about your experience, how I've affected you, maybe. That would be so cool. And have it film it, go through YouTube. That'd be wild. That'd be super wild. And listen, anything is possible. I like to vibe. I'm a creative guy. I, I, I see things. And maybe why not shoot for that one day? Once I got 200 follow, 200K followers, work it out with the brand, fly everybody somewhere or wherever I am in the world, whatever I am traveling, because things will go back to normal, ladies and gentlemen, we will go back to normal. And for example, wherever I am in the world performing, we have a panel and you guys come. I'm trying to define my story a little better now, but hey, for thoughts. 
I'll keep it in my phone because that's a good one. Anyway. Hey, Marie Pomme. Oh, Marie Pomme, the longest brother today. Really? Petra Avrami. I'm from Czech Republic, but having lived in the UK for the past 20 years. Hey, hey, you're welcome. Thank you for being here. It's nice to have uh, you here. I don't think I've seen your name before here. Maybe I have, I'm not sure. Maybe I have. Edward Bowman, I have. Happy birthday, Mary. Oh, this community is definitely saying hello to each other and wishing a happy birthday to Mary Pum de Lorme. Joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire. Happy birthday to ya, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you, Marie. Come the long. Oh, so cool. I see, I see the messages. Okay, let's read that. For example, devant nous, avec Fab, live n'est qu'une notion subjective. Bon, je parle français. Non, non. On fera ça plus tard en français. Ok, mais bon, je sais que Marie Paul de Lorme. Is bilingual, so she can follow both, both vlogs. Isn't that cool? Because, you know, we cover certain things in the English vlog that we don't cover in the French vlog. That's the beauty about this. But they intertwine. They are connected. It's continuous. It's, it's in, that, in that vein, but they do this, they do this, they do this, they do this. Because there's some things when I talk, to pa when I talk about Paris, to my friends, my, my, my francophone friends, they know exactly what, what I'm talking about. And maybe in the English vlog, some of you haven't been to Paris, so maybe you cannot visualize some of the places I'm talking about, I'm talking about or whatever I'm referring to. You know? But it's so good to see you here. One more Sunday with me. Yours truly. So, Simona, oh, you know, I have to go back to, I don't want to miss anybody. Simona Busca. Itziar Perez and Zonica Ellis Stones. Dudu Bon. Kathy Moore. Okay, everybody's talking to each other. Oops, it's going up. More people are coming, so it's jumping, so I'm trying to catch it. Uh, so sweet, people talking to each other. Super Mario, family is greeting from Croatia. Love your song, man. Please come to Croatia one day for Rocco. I will. I will. Because music will bring me to your neck of the woods. Music took me around the world. That's what it does. Uh, one of the things it does for me. But one of the things it did for me that I... I mean, most of everything that music has done for me, I, I appreciate I, sh I cherish, because because of music, I'm able to travel to different countries, to meet different people, to experience different types of energy, different cultures, different foods. And it's amazing for me to, when I sit back in the plane and I, and I leave those places, this, this connection, this human connection that we have, because music is the glue to our relationship, to our connection. We love music. Some of the, most of the people that I connect with is because they came to the show, or they're connected to Mil Vanilli and the songs, and there lies the glue to begin with. But then, through the years, some of my fans who lost track of me, and because of social media, found me again, we were able to share energy and vibe and many of you realize that you know those songs have affected us in such a major way and there lies part of our relationship but i'm here to further and deepen our relationship with new music of course we're going to do this we got to do this we cannot not 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 this is what i do 
unfortunately, like I said, every weekend we're on we're on a hold. It's moving like mm. and we're trying to go, go, go. But we're trying to go like this, but it's difficult to get back to that speed because because of the fact that things are slow right now. Let me get oh Raven. Raven just dropped something in the bucket like yo just Raven just went pow she just 50 just like bam to support the channel <laughs> that's super cool that's very nice I, I listen your help is appreciated this is so cool because you know listen I'm not asking for nothing over here you know I'm here to give to elevate to support to inspire and to give you strength and to make sure that on your journey, just like as well as my journey, with the energy you're giving me and the energy that I'm giving you, we get to where we need to get, y'all. Because we're never going to stop, y'all. we got to keep it going, y'all. We only live one life at a time. So live it to the fullest. And if I can be... Part of that? Let me know. 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 I love that. I love that you guys are coming every Sunday because I can see like boom, 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 boom in the comments. Raven, thanks again. And I will definitely mention you again and thank you again throughout the vlog because it's like, come on. You know, I know that, you know, uh, I don't take anything for granted. I understand the value of money and it doesn't grow on trees, you know? So when someone is, is nice enough to say, hey, here it is, I really appreciate that. Really super cool. Let me get some more light over here because let me see if I can get some more light. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, I'm trying to. Bear with me, y'all. Huh? Trying to get more light in the house. Okay, how is that? Okay, okay. I'm, 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 you know, listen, I'm figuring it out. I'm taking you through my, my casa. You know, I'm trying to figure out what works well with, with the light and everything. I think that's good. Let me know. Okay, let's see what we got now. Let's see what we got now. Okay. Livia. Hello. Natasha Tin Hoven. Hello. Uh, according to according to you, which 2000 era artist will be remembered? Ooh, that's a tough one, man. Ooh, that's a tough question. I can't even go and answer you, answer that question. We gotta, we gotta wait. 2000s? We got away, but the first part of 2000, they're definitely a, a, a long list. But I can't dip in that list right now. I would have to look at my, my. I would have to go into my Spotify list to do that. You know. But I think that some of those artists are in Fab's playlist. I think some of the artists that I put in my in Fab playlist, those are the ones in in. Um, if you are in my playlist, that means that uh, they, they, you have new artists, but you also have artists that have been there, like Aaliyah, for example, I put in there, and many others. But I cannot go into the Fab Steel mode right now because I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm in, the, I'm in the moment. I am in a moment. Feel it in a moment. Feeling it. Talking to you, 
Finding out how you feel Trigger, 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 trigger me always. Mm hmm. All right. Listen, when I start singing, it's because I just feel like it. I never plan or prompt. It's because of what I'm feeling. So I just, I just react. So some people might look crazy, but. You know, it's just, it's the way it is. So let's see what we got, because I was going down a list of people and saying, hey, Phil got me with that question. Good question though, good question. I would have to do like little topics uh, in part of my, in part of the vlog, I would say, hey, let me bring that back and let's go back to that and let's have this conversation. Uh, don't stop the grind, that's right, Maya. Don't stop the grind. Mike, tell us, uh, Fab, which is your, uh, which one, which one is my favorite 80s song? Oh, man, it's tough. You know, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. Yeah, Michael Jackson's got a lot of wonderful songs from me that are my favorites. You know, for me, it's hard, you know, for me, guys, to tell you what are my favorite songs in general. It doesn't work like that. For me, it's like, if you ask me at the end of the day, What's my favorite song? I'll tell you, because I start listening to music to get in the mood before I go to studio, like, like from 8.30 to like 10 o'clock, I'm on Spotify. You know, I'm just, I'm jumbling music just to get triggered. And if we have a conversation at the end of the day, and you ask me, hey, what's the, what's the favorite song? And I'll tell you, hey, you know, for me, it's a day by day thing. At the end of the day, I'll tell you, that was my favorite song. And um, today, <clears throat> okay, the day's not over. But today on my playlist, I had um, Angel, Angel, Rolling Stone. Beautiful song. Ooh, beautiful song. Uh, what else did I have? I had, um, oh yeah, I, I, I put back in my playlist, uh, my daily kind of morning. Sometimes I, I, I play different playlists on different days. And I had, uh, <clears throat> let me drink some water because I, I'm going to sing that part. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Da 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 da. Ta -da, -da, -ta -da, -ta -da, ta And there comes a time in every man's life when he gets tired of fooling around, juggling hearts in a free ring circus. Someday drive your body down to the ground. I never imagined that love will rain on me. And make me want to settle down. Baby, it's true. I think I do. And I just want to tell you that I want to with you. Yeah, baby, if you do too. Oh, oh, forever. Forever. Baby, I want you forever. I won't keep you for the rest of my life. All that's wrong in my life, you can make cry. You are my savior, you are my light. Forever I want you in my life. Da 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 You know what that is? It's Prince. Forever, forever in my life. Lovely song. Beautiful song, Prince, one of my favorite, the purple one. Anyway, we're gonna go back down to what I was talking about uh, by, you know, looking at the people here. Ah, here we go. Okay, 
Wyatt Rose, Nathan Vice. Hey, bro. Nathan, thank you for last week. You hooked us up, like, really nicely, man. Hey, thank you. Thank you for coming again. Thank you. Thank you for passing by, for coming back, for the good vibes that we provide here in, in my channel. Because it's not just me providing the good vibes, it's you too. It's you and I. You and I, T-Y. You got that? U-N-I-T-Y. Unity is number one. Family, unity, brothers and sisters, we are family. We fam, hashtag we fam. Marie-Thérèse, merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you for supporting the channel. Much appreciated. You guys, that's cool. Dreamcatcher, oh, I went too far because more people are coming. So then, Dreamcatcher, go already waiting for my birthday. <laughs> Yep, next year then, Jessica Chance, lovely doll, hello. Okay, was it difficult to be black in Germany before the success of Melody? Uh, Marie Pomme de Lorme, I was born in Paris, grew up in Paris, was in Germany, and uh, in Germany, no, I never really, you know, it's, a, it's another, it's another journey, it's another conversation you know i can't go there right now but uh you know because some of those things like this question right now you just asked me will be part of the book so i cannot you know i can't give you everything here i'm gonna put it in the book when the book is ready you'll go read it and man we have a lot of things we've got a lot of things in stores in store for you hmm. Mm -hmm. Details you never heard from. So, well, sorry. I cannot tell you about that. But I've talked about Rob's situation growing up. Um, him being half black, half white, with green eyes, looking very different. Living in Bavaria, which is a part of Germany that is very, you know, very conservative was maybe less conservative now, but was a lot more conservative back in the days. So he had a rough time. He told me about it. He's talked about it in the past. And um, yeah, rough patch. He had some few uh, rough patches, you know, in his life in Germany. You know, unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the subject of, um, of this subject is a, is, a, is a touchy subject, but, you know, we will, and we have covered in that, but I think that it has to be more structured if we go into that. You feel me, Marie? But hey, I think, and I hope, and I believe, that I've answered part of your question. The rest will come with the book, y'all. Angela, Angela. You loving what I'm saying? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, listen. Uh, most of you have connected with me because of music. Some of you have connected with me because you like what I talk about, you, know, you like what I stand for. You know, how I, you like how I vibe, but music is my core. So <clears throat> I'm not performing, and maybe some of you haven't seen me perform live, and um, singing is something that I do all day a la casa. So for me to be singing, you know, to be singing here in this room, is part of what I do every day. So you are in my humble above, and singing is part of me. So I'm going to sing from time to time. I will. I miss that, that, that stage, because stage, the stage is home away from home. You know, I love it. It allows me to just go places. I can't describe really, you know, it, it's just, it's a, 
You go places emotionally, and it's just, woo, it's so powerful. And every time when I would come back on Monday or Tuesday, I, I would use that energy. So now that I'm not on stage, like I said, every weekend, but I got you. I got you on the weekend. I got this thing going on. We can talk and vibe, and it motivates me. <clears throat> got a drink. Ah. Food. Would you ever collaborate with rock or metal bands? Listen, for me, it's like this. Music is like food, okay? There's many types. I don't like to eat the same thing all the time. I don't. I am a creature of habit, of habits, and one of my habits is to not repeat myself. I don't like that creatively. You know, when it, when it comes to, you know, what we talk about here, you got to go, you got to talk about it. Like, you got to revisit and revisit and revisit and revisit from every angle until it seeps into your mind, your subconscious, the fiber of your being, of your soul, your heart, your mind. That's how it works. But when it comes to being creative, I don't like to repeat myself because it's, it feels weird. It feels, I don't know, I, I, my, I have like uh, this, um, this um, alarm bell that goes up. <coughs> if, I if, I, if I go towards something that I've done, I don't want to do it. So when it comes to music, and I've talked about that, I'm everywhere. And um, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. So to go back to your question, if a rock band or metal band that comes to me and wants to collaborate, it has to fit my vibe. We have to fit. We have to bring it together. That's it. That's the only thing. And it takes creativity to do that. So if we are creative, creative enough to do that, to bring it together, and have it make sense or not, because in the end, it doesn't really have to make sense as long as emotionally it's charged and it moves people and it's like, boom, it hits you and you feel you're like, whoa, what's that? That's what I'm after. I'm after fresh. I'm after new. I'm after innovation, creativity, imagination. To answer your question. Thank you, Phil. So let's see what we got next. Um, haha. I will one of these days, Kathy, but it's, I don't like, like I said, um, I don't like to plan stuff. And I know you, I think you've asked me, oh, can you do it time? But I, you know, I have to feel it. You know, like, I have to feel it. I have to, I have to want to feel that song at that moment. Otherwise, I feel like, and maybe one day I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna see your, your 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 name there, and I'll be like, I'm feeling it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. All right, but there'll be others. MJ is epic. Oh yeah, woo! MJ is epic. You know when I talk about standards, you know. He's one of the people that I look up to for his standards. When it comes to, to that, that potent energy that, that he brought to the stage, you know? We're all, you know, like that, our guilty pleasure, pleasures. One of my guilty pleasures is to check him out, like Motown 20th anniversary. I'm never tired. Check it out, and I'm like, oh, that's crazy. If you haven't seen the 20th anniversary of, uh, of uh, the Motown 20th anniversary with uh, Michael Jackson performing uh, Billie Jean, check it out. Check the dude out. It's like purebred, stallion, rock star, pop star, king. 
it's so like it's amazing, you know. And I mean, it's hard for you know it. You know, when I see something that is to put a word to it, right? To put a word a stamp to it, amazing, whatever. It's just I always go back to talk. I always go back to energies. And when I look at this performance and the energy that comes out, man, it's like you know, it's like it's, it's it has. It has the same effect as this conversation that I'm having with you here today. You know, I get this this jolt, and that's what I get the jolt in one word. One word like bow. You know, and, and I hope that one day I'll be able to like vibrate that way when I hit the stage. That's that's like that's the motivation, you know, like the the inspiration, maybe the inspiration, motivation mm, to go and work harder and harder on myself, and and work on my skills and get better and better and better, so I can bring together dancing, singing, performing, and ba 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 ba. Before you know it, when you get out. You leave the venue, you're like, Whew. and that's that's the that's how I felt. That's the emotion, energy I felt when I saw Michael Jackson for the first time. Damn, that's it. Again, we're having a vibe. I just saw Kathy Morse and MJ Epic, and he took me there because I, I just saw him. Because I watched that not long ago. Again. Uh, Nivia, Nivia. It's so great hearing you talk about Michael Jackson, like my imagination. Two, three, five. Oh, Tammy Fox. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to know what's going on? Listen, I'm going to share with you some very important news. I think uh, in November, I think something's going to pop. You know, in some news, I think maybe in November we have some news to share with the world, and we'll see if it happens. You know, so maybe just maybe November is going to come by, and nothing will happen. It's show business. It's show business, like show business. I know. You know, it's like that. I sure hope. To share some news with you in, in November, soon for you. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, I don't promise anything, but let's see. You know. So, what else do we got? Oh, Nathan, can I moonwalk? Uh, yeah, I think I can. I think I have, but I, I like I, I like more the the circular moonwalk. That's the one I like. Uh, the one that goes like, um, you know, the one that you goes backwards like this. It's cool. But I like the circular one. And I do that on stage. Do that. I do that when I do Girl, I'm Gonna Miss You. I do that. Oh, who is that? Oh, I think it. Oh, no, no. Is it Ken Lewis in the house? Yo, Ken Lewis, man. Got to acknowledge you. I just didn't see you. Maybe you. you Maybe if I scroll down, I would have seen that, but I got to um, acknowledge Mr. Ken Lewis. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having you here, man. We're just vibing in my humble above. I take you in different places to the house. I'm trying to keep it, you know, entertaining, to keep you inspired, try to get the right kind of environment so that when I do my talk, I'm, I'm also inspired. You know, it's important that when I come here, I give you my best like this. Because when I give you my best, I know that it, it, it has a certain, it's just that certain type of vibration. You know, and when I give you my best, I can, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm there, I'm there, I'm feeling it. I like to talk about energy and vibration because, you know, just like plants, we all are, we all are made of, of energy as well. We have low frequency electricity running through our bodies. We do. 
just like plants. But that's another subject that I will talk about, maybe go into at a later date. All right? Because that's a really, really interesting one. Ken Lewis, thank you, bro. So let's go to... Okay, cool. Uh, sometimes I'm afraid to touch some of those buttons because I don't touch some of them. And sometimes it, it can lead you places. Veronica, Glenn Milley, you're a well-rounded person, Fab. You have a good balance of your nine multiple <laughs> intelligences. Thank you. Listen, you know, every weekend I come here, and I talk to y'all, and I'm actually, by talking to you, I'm refining some of the things that have made me who I am today. And at some point, I will create something, which I am in the process of making, but like anything, it, it takes time. And I like to be precise with anything that I do. Anything that I do, it has to be, for me, when I'm done, it's perfect for me. Nothing is perfect, but when it's perfect for me, and then I, I, I show it to my, my immediate circle, and they tell me, oh, wow, that's cool. Then I can let the baby out. But before that, I ain't going to let the baby out. That's how I do. So there's a gestation period that will take place so that it is, it, it's proof, it's, it's solid what I'm talking about. And, um, you know, Sunday after Sunday, I, I, you know, by talking with you, I'm like, hmm, that was cool. I never thought of it like that or said it like that. So I, uh, I take mental notes and then, and if it's too, too much for me to remember, then I will go. But it usually is, stays right in my dome, okay? So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on this. I, I, I kind of like talk to you. It, but I, I mentioned it like a little bit two weeks ago that I, I, had, I had been creative and I'm preparing this thing and it's gonna be super cool. When it's done, it's gonna be really, really nice. So to be continued. Here we go now. Glenn Neely, thanks for triggering me in two places. Can we, we all need a positivity? You bet ya. You bet ya. Everything, everything in life is tied to positive energy, positive vibrations. It's the fuel, man. It's the fuel we put into our, our, our body, minds, and soul. You know, a, a, a rocket for the road. That's it. That's the fuel we use. That's the fuel you need. And when you don't have enough of that, of that fuel, then you, you start to like, you know, you start to, um, to, I'm trying to balance this because I like being in balance, yeah. Um, if you don't have enough positive energy in your being, then you start to act different and not necessarily good because you're lacking, you're missing something, something isn't right. And it could be, you know, and, and, some, and there's many things like that, you know, it's, I can, I, I'll make it simple. For example, if you don't drink enough water and you're getting thirsty and dehydrated, you, you, uh, you're gonna, some people react, uh, you can see people, some people get, get uh, irritated or there's something wrong with them. And then once they start drinking that water, they're much better. Once they start to eat, they feel better. Cause and effect, pay attention to your instincts, pay attention to your health, to your health care. Healthcare, do that. I'm telling you, when you close to those things that I talk about, it really works. And this is why I'm working on something for y'all. And because of you, you know, I would have never thought of coming up with those things if it wasn't for you and this vlog and, and vibing and talking and, and going Sunday after Sunday. I wouldn't have, ne I would have never. I wouldn't have come up with that. But because of this conversation, 
the trees and takes me places and gets me creative. It's not just about music. You know, it's just music. And I want to be as complete as possible and well-rounded, where I know, like you said, as possible. In my music, in my art, and I wanted to stand for something. I wanted to be potent. I wanted to inspire. I wanted to talk to people. I wanted to touch people. And I wanted to have a meaning because I wanted to be, it has to have a meaning. If, if what I create, I want to give meaning to everything that I do. Because if you don't give meaning to what you do, it's empty. So why do things that don't have any meaning? That's my, that's my thing. That's a good one. Why do things that have no meaning? I think I gotta write this one down because it's attached to something a little bigger that I, I've, I don't, I, I didn't really necessarily cover it before. So bear with me. You see, you see, coming here is like, okay, what did I say again? <laughs> okay. Why do you think, why do you think, which, have no meaning to themselves? And the effects it has in our journey. So I took you into my process, my thinking process, just like that. But that's like, that's a very interesting subject. You know, why do things, maybe I can include that into my little philosophy. You know, why? You know, because I, I, I look at, um, at time. You know how I look at time. I view time as being one of the most precious commodities and that you, you cannot waste time. Once spent, it's gone, right? So it's the same thing. Like, why would you things, what would you do things who have, which have no meaning? And you know, some people might say, well, but you know, you have to do things sometimes. And I understand sometimes you want to watch TV that's like, you know, you're brain dead, like it's, it's nothing. And I get it. And I used to do that until I was like, like, well, I can either watch something and get nothing or watch something and get something all the time, which will then enrich me intellectually. And then as a result, will have me look at things differently and be equipped to do things differently and maybe not necessarily better, but different like options, you know? So it's the same thing with food. Like for example, you could have, you know, if, if sugar, for example, the concept of sugar, you take sugar, you do boom, it kicks you up, keeps you up and up. Some people, you know, eat sugary things because they need the energy, but you're gonna go up and you go down. And by that constant, steady, moving forward, steady. That's my philosophy, that's my motto, my motto. <laughs> I'm looking at the clock right now, it's almost an hour. That's crazy. But, you know, we vibe, we talk, so, you know, it was not just me. Okay, we got uh, Zoe C. Le vlog en français va arriver plus tard. Alors, Siri Jones, Siri Jones, Siri Jones, Mrs. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. When I hear this name, Mrs. Mrs. Jones. It, it does that to me. I hear the song. Mm -hmm. okay. Fab, your video inspires me to create my own short films. That's right. 
I love how your positive positivity expands through the mind, body, and spirit. Hey, you're creative, Surya. Do your thing. Don't hesitate. Everybody got a phone, yeah. Everybody got a phone. Use it creatively, yeah. Anything is possible. Anything, y'all. You can do anything. With creativity, there's no boundaries to what you to, to what you want to tell or express. And maybe it's just for you. It's some time. When you do something for yourself and you're vulnerable, it allows you to touch that nerve with people. You've noticed how some things become very successful, even though it's, it's, it's low budget, but it is sincere, it is real, it is honest, it is genuine. And that's where, as a creative, you gotta tap into that. Tap into that part of yourself. And when you tap into that, that part of yourself, it's like, imagine, imagine, um, imagine like a, 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 a ball, right? And then you, 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 you chip part of it and light comes out. Let it out. Let it chip, chip that ball out and let that light out, that creativity, like that, 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 that's in your soul. Because don't, don't block it out. Don't limit yourself. Don't tell yourself, oh, I need a more expensive camera or I need, uh, I need more people to help me out. Listen, I don't never move without this one. You know, I always have my little stand with me. You know, the Joby stand. Uh, you know, it, it curves around. Like, you know, like you can do anything with this baby. Find your tools. You know, when I talk about tools, you know, like that I've, that I've made, that, that I've created, my, not really necessarily created, but there were tools in life that we use. We, we make them become ours. You know, we make them really sharp. We sharpen our skills, our tools. You know, there's also things, physical things that allow you to do what you need to do. A computer, a software, nowadays, it, it's like that. So get, get to your tools. Oh, no, not today, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, because I'm gonna have to do the vlog in French right after, so I don't have that half hour in between to think about what I talked about and take my notes. So I'm gonna write this down. Because it's another concept. Okay. Okay. Bam. So <laughs> you see me in the motion. I'm in a work mode, it's work mode, work mode. Okay, cool, that's right, yeah. And in the end, like I say it again, I'm gonna write it at the end so I can. And boom, a little icon to it. And okay, what's your tool? That's my question. What's your tool? Let's go. Tell me, we got, 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 okay. Nicolette Maria, Sunny. Okay, Michael Delon. Like I said, I can't watch Michael Jackson hours and hours with, with and any sound. Oh, that's cool. You see what I'm talking about? With his body. The way he he's moving, I get in music, melodies. I've never seen such a person. Oh, man, 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 man. Listen, when, when, when we talk about you know, when we talk about Michael Jackson, we talk about bam. We talk about that. We talk about bam. You know, we talk about bam. We talk about that. <laughs> Is that that vibe? But you know. Combined with his voice and, and, and the melody and the groove and the light show. Man, that stuff is crazy. It's crazy. 
And I hope that one day, mm, 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 I'll be able to create that stage for myself that I, of course, have in mind. And those are, those are you know, those are some of the things that, that happens when I look at Michael. I look at him and I'm like, I'm inspired. And then maybe a day later, I get inspired from the stage show and I'm like, oh, that would be good to just take a little bit of that, that idea and then expand it and make it my own. You know, that's what I'm talking about. You know, creativity, find your tools, find what's, what, ins what inspires you to do what you need to do for yourself. Don't let yourself down. Don't let yourself down, no, no. Don't let yourself down. No, 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 no. Don't let yourself down. So now, I'm about to say bye-bye. Because -bye. Uh, it's an hour. We'll be here for an hour, y'all. And I have to do the French vlog because at 4 o'clock, I got someone coming over. So, before you leave, everybody, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Because if you felt it, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah. That's how I'm going to know that you felt me. Because some of you are only watching the vlog. You know, you're watching. You're not feeling bad. It's cool. Then you go click. But hey, hook me up with like that one. That'll be cool. That one? Can we do that? Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Can we? Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Say you don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Rise up this morning, smile to the rising sun. Three little birds sit at my doorstep, singing sweet songs, melody pure and true. This is my message to you. Say you don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Say you don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Pleasure talking to you. I know there's more messages coming in. Mari Tellers, thank you very much for the continuous support for the channel. We love that. We love it. We love it. We love it. And we'll use that towards some things because there's a gift of giving and a gift of receiving and giving back. So we're going to do some things. I'm trying to implement some, some cool ideas to make sure that the channel becomes more and more and more fun. But as you know, I also have to take care of my, my life and what I do on the daily and keep going. I do my best to respond to you guys, but it's getting a little tight on time. So I, like I said, I'm, once I go into a, a extreme creative mode, I won't be doing much of that responding. So the vlog will be there for me to to connect and to read your messages and all that, okay? But I do my best. I try to do my best, y'all. Thank you, thank you, Glenn Millie. Thank you, thank you. Natasha. Yes, he is smiling from the heaven. Rob Pilates is smiling from the heaven, watching us. And um, hey, the story of Mill Vanilli, we'll see the light of day. At some point or another, because it's a good one. 
You know, if you look at the story, just the story on its own, it's a crazy one. It's an amazing one. It's one of a kind. So anything that's one of a kind, any story that is one of a kind, well, it's, it's turning to something at some point or another. It's just, it's just logical. So bear with me. We'll get to it, y'all. But we cannot get to it with the wrong people. It's got to be done with the right people. It's got to be done right. Because I, when that story is put into a book, or I want to make sure that I'm proud of, of everything, the way it was done, and everything. It's got to be right. My soul, my story has to be properly told. That's key. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go there and say bye-bye to some of the people who were not mentioned as well. But I think I mentioned Elizabeth Andrada, Urubong, Sylvie, Mila Marino, Marinino, or Mar Marin Ho. That's it. Mi Mila Marin Ho. That's it. Cash Money. Thank you, Cash Money. Thank you. Uh, okay, I see you. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. Okay, 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 okay. Well, it was a pleasure, y'all. Thank you for your donations. That was truly awesome. Because, you know, I don't expect nothing, like I said. But when it comes, like, bam, drop in the bucket, sweet, nice, you know, much love to everybody here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And tell a friend who tells another friend who tells another friend who tells another friend who tells another friend about this destination. Now, how much fun are you having? Because I'm having a blast here with you guys. I'm feeling to use your words. Empower. I feel strong. I feel like I went to the gas station and BAM! As a matter of fact, friend of mine, okay. Ah, that's one of my the Sergio right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Sergio. We're gonna get together. We got more things to do. Sergio from Cap Salon. Music is life, life is music. My cap maker is rocking it out, man. Cap Salon. You gotta go check it out. Cap Capsalon.com. Yep, they rock. They rock. Check this Oh yeah, I'm getting together with Sergio Tuesday. Oh yeah. Mm. You know, people who come to my house are special people. And Sergio is one of those, one of those guys. Another creative. Man, it's so cool. Hold on. Do that live. He's gonna dig that. Yo, Sergio, I'm in the vlog right now. I just talked about you and the fact that you're coming over to the house on Tuesday. It's a done deal, my dude. And I was just telling them that, you know, people who come to my house are special people. Oh yeah, I don't let nobody in that's not right, you know, because by vibrations, right? So my dude, I'm doing this live. So when you look at the vlog later on today, you'll be, you'll be surprised to see that I did that live. Why not, man? It would be spontaneous up in here. So I look forward to see you. Let's work out the time. Maybe we'll do 12 o'clock. That's cool. Between 12 and 12.30. Show up at La Casa. Let's do it, man. Bring your computer. Ladies. And this is, uh, you know, this is how I talk to my peeps, you know. We fam, everybody. Got to go. Got to do the French one. Got to hurry up. All right, now. For the poly francophone, bon, ben, on se voit dans pas longtemps. Là, je j'éteins et je reviens. Donnez-moi cinq minutes. Donnez-moi cinq minutes pour respirer. Si je veux respirer, quand même. Okay? I just told them to let me breathe a little minute so I can replenish my energy with some water, something to eat, maybe. And let's go, 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 go. Peace out. Like, uh, more than yours truly. It's been a pleasure. Let's go.